Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Asif. And I, as I showed you in the previous video, I showed you guys how to download Game Maker Studio on desktop or on the taskbar. Well, so on Windows 8, I downloaded this on Windows 8 and Windows 7. To download it on Windows 8 or a new software or Mac or anything like that, you just got to do the same thing. You go to yoyogames.com and download Game Maker Studio. So I will click on Game Maker Studio. Today I will talk about how to make a game. And so these are all the recent files. So I will just click on a new one. I'll make this as tutorial. Create that. Now it'll just come up like this. Nothing under sprites, nothing under sounds, nothing under any of these. So, rooms are like levels. So, I'll just I click on rooms, create a room. This is your room. You can, on this little window over here, you can just hit the cursor and you can move it this way and that to where you want. I want it right there. That's perfect. Now, you click the check mark. Now, right click on background, click create, click create background, click edit background, keep going up. Now, with the pencil, I want to make my background blue. But if you want to get it from like a website or something, you can just go to the website, right click on the picture that you like, click save picture as. Then you can just go to the open window, not the open plus the plus. Then you can put the background. Now, but I just want to make it with a pencil. But with, with if you do this, it'll take forever to create it right so we can increase the size after I'm done erasing that I'll show you you get click the pencil click the hugest size just paint the whole room and click check click OK then this is your background zero click room room zero click the background section that's over here Click background, click background zero. Keep it right where I liked it. Check mark. Now right click on sprites, click create sprite, click edit sprite, click the new button, click OK. Double click on the image. Get it a little bit bigger. That's too big. Okay, now let's make the character as a circle like this. This will be blue, then this will be white. Okay? I'll go to eraser. I don't know how that formed. And then make it back to the normal size. Like that. Now. There you go. That's your... That's the good guy. There you go. Now click the check mark again. So you have to click the check mark twice. Click OK. Now you there you have your good get. Now how do you add that into the rooms? In the rooms there's only background object and all these stuff which you don't need. What what we have to do is we have to take the sprite, put it into and make an object. Right click create object. Sprite click sprite zero. Click OK. Now let's make the bad guy. Create sprite, edit sprite, the new button, OK, double click. The same thing except make a different type of circle. Make this as red, OK. Now this guy will be a bad guy. Check. Now since that's done, click OK. Now make that into an object. Click sprite one. Okay, events. You can add an event. All these stuff will do something. If you click create, this will make the sentence say, "If the uh, if the object is created." Now, now you need to continue the sentence. So drag the move button and click it in all directions except the middle one. Middle one will make it stay where it is. 
Click, click, let's give it a speed as three. Click relative, which means all of them. Click OK. Um, we don't need to add another one. Click OK. Now, let's play the game. Boom, has nothing. So, what we gotta do is go to the rooms. Look at the room, it's just a blank blue page. So then now we gotta add the objects. Click object zero, this is the good guy. Mm. We need to give the good guy a better color. Well, first we'll do the, the bad guys. Okay, those are all the bad guys and this is the good guy. Now we'll delete this guy. And so the sprite, add the sprite, double click on it. Now, blue is not a good color because that's the background. So what we do, we'll make it a different color. Right click, let's see, I'll pick green. Okay. Whoa, that is huge. Now let's make the size a little bit smaller. There you go, that's your good guy. Check that, check it again, click OK. There you go. Now go to object zero, click that. That's the good guy. Now, check mark, let's click the game. Okay, these guys are moving, but they're going out. They're not doing anything. So now what do we have to do? We have to create a wall. So create sprite, edit sprite, click the new button. Okay, double click that a little bit bigger. Now, pencil, maybe make it orange and then keep that as white, okay? Then just create the wall by drawing all over it. There you go, that's your wall. Okay, there you go. Now make it an object. Create object, sprite two. Okay, room zero. Now let's take this guy out because he'll be blocking the walls. Now let's click objects. Click one right there. Two. Now let's just create the wall. Keep clicking until you get this full. After this, we will have to program the good guy to be able to move away from the bad guys that are trying to get it. So now we programmed the wall. No, now we finished the wall. Click the check. Now let's try playing the game and see what happens. They're still running away thinking that, oh, you guys still can't catch me. So what we have to do, we have to program the object. So click on the object that's running away. Right click on events, add event, click collision. Collision with object 2. Go to the jump. I don't know why it didn't jump, but it should be the last one. Bounce against all objects. Okay. Now let's see what happens. And you click the play button. Now they can't run away. Okay, now it's just a boring game because you can't move the good guy and nothing will happen even if it clash into him. So what we do is we make the good guy able to move. Add event. Let's do keyboard. Left first. Move in the left direction at a speed of 3. Relative. Now let's do add event, keyboard, right. Should be able to move right. Speed of three, relative, okay. Add event, keyboard, up. Should go up, speed of three, relative. Okay. Keyboard, down. Three, relative. Okay.
There you go. Now let's see how the game works. Whoa, look at that. That guy's moving so fast and he's not programmed to bounce against the walls. So that's not a helpful game. Let's get the objects. Click add event. Fit collision against object 2. Bounce against all objects. Okay. Now click the play button. Now see what happens. Whoa, he's going so fast. I guess I think we need to decrease the speed. And object zero. Speed of one by two. Let's see what happens. Speed of one by two. Speed of one. Two and speed of one by two. Okay, okay, and okay. Now click the play button, see what happens. Now, now let's program it to stop. If you want it to stop, add event, keyboard, space. It should hit, it should move in the middle. Speed of you don't need to put any speed, but half would be good. Relative. Okay. There you go. Now let's play the game. Space it stopped. Continues moving. A little faster. A little faster. Stop. S slower. Stopped. A little faster. A little faster, a little faster. Now there's no point in this game. So what we do is collision again, add event, collision against object one. Then we should end the game. Okay, now let's see what happens. Play the game. Let's collide into it. See, it ended the game. But this is a boring game because it doesn't show a game over and all that. So just right click on rooms, create a room. Now we have all the background, so it should be easy. There you go. Check that. Go to sprites, create sprite, edit sprite, new, what, no, cancel, new, okay. Let's just type in. Oh, that is huge. Just type in game over. Game over. Okay, check that. Check it. Okay. Click click on object zero. Click on object one. And instead of end the game, let's delete that. Okay. Now let's make it go to some room. Click the fourth one. Drag it. Click to room one. Okay. Okay. Now Go to room one. Room one has nothing. So let's make this sprite three as an object. Create object. Game over. It has to do with nothing. Then object. Object three. Right there. Keep it made. Put it as a size of 15 and 15. There you go. Check that. Now let's see how the game works. Game over. As soon as you collide, game over. Now there you have made your you have successfully made your game. Now you can just add your own things like score and all that stuff. I might come back and show you guys how to make a score and all that stuff, but for now, you are officially done making simple game. Thanks. Please subscribe and hit that like button.
Thanks. Bye.